Welcome to this video. We are going to briefly learn the relationship between energy and amplitude, but also the relationship between power and amplitude. Okay, so we're in our notes. This is the fourth from last page. Regrettably, there are no page numbers, but that's okay. It's the fourth from last page, uh, the fourth sheet, I should say. And it's the back side of that sheet. We know that big waves have more energy and little waves have less energy. That makes sense intuitively. But what's the exact relationship? We describe the size of the wave using amplitude, A, and the energy we use, E. The same thing is true for power. Power is how quickly energy is carried by the wave. Big waves carry more energy, therefore they have a larger power. Energy is transferred at a bigger rate because there's more energy. So here's the relationship. The energy carried by a wave is proportional to the amplitude squared. Let's write that down. E is proportional to amplitude squared. That means if I divide both sides by A squared, and I turn this from a proportionality into an equation, I have this, which essentially states, if you take some first energy and some first amplitude, the ratio of e to a squared is the same. You could then take a second energy and a second amplitude. So let's say for these two waves, they have different amplitudes, they have different energies, but the ratio of e to a is always the same constant value. It doesn't matter if you change the amplitude for this wave. The energy adjusts so that the ratio, e to a squared, is always the same. The same is true for power. Power is also proportional to amplitude squared. And therefore, we could say the ratio of p to a squared is always a constant. And if it's always a constant, then you can take some first power, divide by a first amplitude squared, and you'll get the same value if you take a second different power and divide by a second different amplitude squared. And these equations, these ones that I'm circling in green, they are not given on your equation sheet. But it's easy to come to these equations. They follow directly from the proportionality. So you just have to be able to look at the proportionality and recall that the ratio of e to a squared, or the ratio of p to a squared, is always the same constant. So real quick, let me just point out how these problems look and what we're doing. We're given here the energy carried by a wave crest is 8 joules, that's E1. When the amplitude is 24 centimeters, that's A1. In some amount of time, the amplitude decreases to 6 centimeters. That's a new, different amplitude. So what's the new energy at this new amplitude? That's my unknown, E2. You can see they've asked us to calculate E2 while giving these three values. It's OK to leave the, the amplitudes in centimeters as long as you plug into the, uh, to the two sides using the exact same unit. So you can use centimeters here, centimeters here and then that unit will cancel out, allowing you to calculate the energy in joules.